good morning let us discuss about the electric field and potential due to induced charges on a metal sphere let us suppose that this is a metal sphere of a radius r which is kept in a uniform electric field see this is a point charge in the field of the point charge a metal sphere of radius r is kept let A is a point on the surface at some distance let us say uh, some x arbitrary point x let us say this distance is x from the point point charge Q let us say this point is P let us suppose that the distance of the point center of the sphere from the point P is R small r now what is the electric field intensity at the point A at a distance x due to a point charge? We know that due to a point charge the electric field at some arbitrary point A is given by E at the point A is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by distance square this distance is x so x square that is the point right this is equal to kq by x square this is the electric field intensity at the point a due to the charge q so what will happen now due to the presence of charge q as this is a conductor charges are induced on the nearer side negative charge is induced on the farther side of course positive charges are induced this is plus q induced this is minus q induced therefore as the so called induction phenomenon will take place till the electric field intensity at any point on the surface will become zero so induction of charges on the surface will continue till the electric field intensity on that particular conducting shell at any point on the shell will be zero right once the induction is over what will happen now we very clearly say that what is the electric field intensity at this particular point A electric field intensity at the particular point A due to the induced charges is equal to as I told you it is an e electric field intensity is zero here therefore the electric field intensity due to the induced charges will be equal and opposite to the previous one so that is also equal to kq by x square directed it is directed towards q because electric field due to the charge q is away from the charge electric field due to the induced charges will be towards so that the net electric field intensity at the point A is zero so this gives the electric field intensity at any point P on the surface due to the induced charges now coming to the electric potential let us now talk about the electric potential we all know that the electric potential this is a conducting shell therefore at any point it is an equipotential surface a conducting shell is always an equipotential surface the surface of a conducting sphere let me write here the surface of a conducting sphere is equipotential that means at every point on the surface potential is same at every point on the surface the potential will be the same so if you take the point A potential at A and potential at C will be the same because electric field intensity on the surface is zero E on the surface is zero and E is equal to minus dV by dr that implies V must be constant that means it should be equipotential very clearly the surface of the conductor must be equipotential potential is constant 
So potential at any point A on the surface must be equal to potential at the center. So potential at the point A is equal to potential at the center. What is the potential at the center? Potential at the center is due to the potential due to the point charge as well as potential due to the induced charges. So one more time, potential at this point C is equal to the sum of the potential due to the point charge as well as the potential due to induced charges. We know that the potential due to induced charges is zero, therefore the net potential at C is only due to the external charge. So what do I write here? The potential at C is equal to potential due to Q plus potential due to induced charges. So due to the potential at Q it is KQ by, we know its distance is R, potential due to induced charges is zero because the sum of all the induced charges is zero. Therefore this is equal to KQ by R. So potential at A is KQ by R. So R is fixed. So it is independent of X. It is not a variable, it is fixed. That means potential at A is a constant. As A is an arbitrary point, therefore potential is same. Hence, what is the conclusion here? Hence, potential is same at every point on the surface. Why? Because x is not figuring in the equation. x is not an arbitrary point. It is not figured in the equation. Okay? Therefore, potential at any point on the surface will be same. Okay? That's what is the explanation we can give. Thank you.